Hello everyone, welcome back to a Born Again original. This time it's going to be Juice World Decoding 999. It talks about the Abyss and a few other things that I kind of want to just uh, uh, decode for you guys from an occultic perspective that most people wouldn't really get. Alright. You wanted these messages and try to get you to explain the meaning behind the message in the game that we call Decoded. Damn. What an intro. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is decoded. All right. So decode for us. What is the meaning behind the numbers? Nine, nine, nine. Oh, uh, cool. Um, so I got it tatted on me. Yep. Right here. Nine, nine, nine. Um, if you're a person that believes anything that's any, whether you, any type of thing has to do with the Bible, mm -hmm. um, I think in the last book of the Bible, it say that 666 is the mark of the beast, right? Mm -hmm. And that's... 666 is the mark of the beast, but there's also a little bit of numerology attached to it. It can be seen as an illuminated being, that being illuminated into Freemasonry, which is someone who worships the secret mysteries or worships Lucifer just straight up front, taking the ideals of worshiping you know, like human enlightenment, worshipping like the energies of the universe, the universe, yourself, using your energies. The sacred science is what they're getting at. Taking those things what, that Christians would view as evil because you're not worshipping God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So that would be a bad thing. So taking that bad thing and making it good, making it seem like it's secret knowledge, making it seem like it's something to, to sought after for eternal life when it is not. That is what it is. So taking 666 and turning it into 999 is also alchemy as well, which is a form of white magic. So, anyway. You know, that's, that's Satan. That's doubtful. That's hell. 999 represents taking whatever hell, whatever bad situation, whatever struggle you're going through, and turning it into something positive and using it to push us. That is what alchemy is as well. They take lead... I believe, or yeah, like some type of some type of black substance, and they turn it into gold using science and using magic techniques or whatever. I don't, I don't know exactly what it is. Oh, oh snap! Okay, you talk of revelations right there. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. How do you feel about death? I mean, really, I was just at a point in time where it was that's just it clicked. It just I ain't even. Really Brainstorm that up like I didn't. Well, if you take this and turn it, yeah, yeah. all right. So that was basically him saying that he didn't know where he came up with it. So maybe either he can't tell you where he was taught that, like maybe he was taught it in some sort of occultic secret session. Maybe he was. It's secret knowledge. He's not allowed to tell you where he got it from. I think either that or maybe he was mind controlled into saying these things in an interview. Maybe they were programmed into him. He doesn't know where it came from. Just clicked like it was just, I, bl I, I, like, I blinked and it yeah. was there. It was in my head and it's just been there ever since. Okay, that's good enough for me, man. Okay, number two, to decode for us the meaning behind the abyss. <laughs> so. so the abyss is where fallen angels and demons are imprisoned. If you look in Genesis, it goes into fallen angels came down unto women. They made demigods. Those de those fallen angels were locked into the abyss. Okay? And the abyss is also a place where there is demons in people that Jesus was casting out. And those demons like, begged him not to send them back to the abyss. They begged them, or he begged, they begged Jesus to send them into the pigs. So that's just very demonic and very dark, the root of these words, okay? <laughs> we all in the abyss. The abyss could also be where he goes if he's MK Ultra. Think about that. Like, he could be where he goes when his front persona is acting. I don't know. I, I've, I haven't seen proof of that. Mm -hmm. We all are. Uh, that's what life is. But it's like, it's different though, because you could have people in the abyss. My music be having people in the abyss. Mm -hmm. 
And it's not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but just know you always there at every point in time. It's your business. Okay, in this game. Okay, you hear that, Rich Nice? All right, the third one, the scientific meaning behind lucid dreams. Decode that. Um, that is dreaming and you being aware that you are dreaming and then from that point on controlling what happens after that. Yeah, man, you 19? 19. Okay, man. <laughs> All right, okay. I do that. I also think that, like, lucid dreams or what he was describing was more of, like, a night terror you know when you're stuck in your par- sleep paralysis is what it's called i think juice world and lucid dreams is describing sleep paralysis rather than lucid dreaming because he's not in control he's seeing his shat there her shadows in his room he's seeing you know what i mean like when this happens you're under a demonic attack and that was a big theme with juice world there was always demons involved there was always evil things involved to this guy right he would try to seem like there was a light on the outside, but in the end, it was all demonic, and uh, yeah, you can see that. It's really, really interesting and sad because, you know, he's a young guy, got into the in- industry at a young age, but I, I think he might have been into the occult beforehand because he said his ex was into uh, witchcraft. Times in my dreams, yeah. I'm aware that I'm dreaming, yeah. and then I control it's the outcome. Yeah. That's my playground. Yeah. I love those moments. Yeah, it's cool. One thing I want to add too is that they could possibly be talking about how once you wake up in the matrix, you can have control over the reality. Right? That's a gnostic belief. That's not real. That is that is another thing that Luciferians believe that they're in control of their reality because they are enlightened and they do worship the Lucifer and they do worship the energies of the universe. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, that's I don't have bad dreams because of it anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. I always make my dreams nice and fun. You know I, what I say if you if you do that consistently that you have like your your mental like you have a strong mental like mm-hmm. your mind is strong and you exercise your brain that way as well. I like this young man, man. Juice. Anyway, I just want to say thank you guys for watching and see you again.